Welcome to the Derbyshire County Show. Yeah, fun? Oh yeah, I could pick up just so high. This has been a wonderful experience. I'm telling you, this is a blast. It is so much to do out here, so much to see. Let me show you everything that we've seen, we've done today. Located deep in the heart of England, this year, Derbyshire County hosted the 140th Derbyshire County Show. As a family, we've made the decision to visit as many county shows as we can this year, and Derbyshire County is the first county show up on the list. And with 140 years of history on the line, this show did not disappoint. Known as county fairs or state fairs in the U.S., county shows are wonderful opportunities to demonstrate agriculture, recreation, and sports for the local community. County shows provide great opportunities for communities to come together, but they also provide windows into the lives of people and who they are and the things that they care about the most. First time at an agriculture show, but it's really nice. It's a bit of everything out here. It's an eclectic mix. I see shops, there are car dealerships. Of course, we just passed the horses. We're looking for the cattle right now. There's sheep. I think there's even a car show out here. So he's, to the best of my knowledge, he's probably the oldest privately owned giant in the country. Because the lady, it wasn't me that brought him in, the lady who did, she was quite big in the tortoise. But this show is really nice. It's about five or six different shows all blended into one. I didn't even know they had tortoises here, so that was really cool. The kids just got to see them. And now we're gonna head over to the car show section to check out some of these vintage cars. They're looking pretty good. Let me show you what I'm talking about. The car show was very interesting because it is exactly what you would expect to see at an English car show. Where an American car show would be dominated by muscle cars or classic sedans, this car show was a bit more English in nature and demonstrated vehicles that would have been beautiful on the highways in the 1940s, 50s, and 60s. <laughs> Adjacent to the car show, we had the opportunity to see a blacksmith demonstrate and honing his craft. This was one of the best experiences of the day. Unfortunately, my sound went out, so I didn't get that wonderful clank of the hammer that you'd love to hear. But this really represented the type of unique experiences that can be found at an agricultural show. Okay, so you see this? This is the nail that the blacksmith just made. I purchased it from him and this is really awesome hopefully yeah this is going to be a, a nice little family treasure that we hold on to because that's artmanship that's craftsmanship that is phenomenal all right so we purchased a nail but we also purchased a wand which has the end that spins so we didn't just get the nail we purchased the nail and the wand from the blacksmith so i think it's pretty cool now we're about to get some food Just lick it off your hands and keep going. Okay, so this is the Stilton burger. It's a great burger, but man, that Stilton cheese is a unique flavor. It's 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 it's, <laughs> it's good, but this is really a different flavor. I'm not very familiar with Stilton. I haven't eaten it very much, but this is a really good burger, and the Stilton cheese is really really tasty. So I just found out that the Stilton is a blue cheese. That's why that flavor is so aggressive. So if you know blue cheese, think of a, a very uh, specific, unique type of blue cheese. What do you think about it? I thought it was good. Very well flavored. Huge sandwich. It was really filling. Yeah. Stilton cheese. Check it out.
After a very tasty lunch, we decided to continue on walking through the showgrounds. One thing to note is that the showgrounds were really spread out, so these activities and locations were really far apart. So there was a lot of walking involved throughout the entire day, which was really no problem, but it gives you the false impression that there were not a lot of people there. There really were, but they were just centered around the specific activities and events. If you like this content, be sure to like and subscribe. After spending a little bit of time looking at the horses, we decided to move on to what was one of my favorite parts of the day, which is going to be the dog shows. I love animals, I love all animals, but I really enjoy dogs. It was great to see the multiple dog breeds on display. Okay then, ladies and gentlemen, this is your Welsh Axeman who will be starting in all dogs are winners, but it was also really great to see which dog went home with a ribbon and we took home that first, second, or third place award. Thanks, man. We traveled up here this morning from sunny, cold, wet mid Wales. And, uh, and we are going to be with you for the next half an hour or so performing a timber sports demonstration. Okay, Sawyers, stand the board, get set, go! I think you'll have to go again. You want to go again? Do it to the audience want you to go again? Yes, look at that. You've had, you've had, your, you've had it now. You've got to do it. So after the London Eye and the DC Capitol Wheel, we're now breaking it down. The Ferris wheels at the lowest level. This is the local carnival Ferris wheel. So this is the classic Ferris wheel experience, the nice little rocket back and forward. This is what carnival Ferris wheels feel like. You know, we have the DC Capitol wheel, you have the London Eye, that's that mega level Ferris wheel. But this is the classic carnival style Ferris wheel that everyone loves and enjoys. Oh wow, the higher up we go, the better the view gets. You know, just like the Capitol Wheel, the higher up we go, the better the view gets. And let me show it to you. Let me show you what we can see from up here. This is a great face dog. It's good, it's fine. Yeah, it's got, they won't grow any more than that. It's just got little tiny horns. Oh, tiny little horns. And he comes from Dartmoor. And he, um, he has very long coat. It's that 35 centimetres long coat. Yeah. Oh, wow. So I only cut him two and a half weeks ago. Wow, two weeks. Yeah, two and a half weeks and it's got like this. Wow. It's really nice. He's only a year old. He's, so he's, this, he's, he's one year old. Yeah. Wow. He's a baby. What are you? <laughs> so these are all your sheep? Those babies, they are only three or four months old. Dartmoor. What is uh what is their wool used for? Um, so it's quite nice wool. It's quite long wool, um, and you can do it for spinning for making clothes. But I do a lot of I don't know if you heard it needle felting. Needle felting. Yes, yes. yes. Ah. Yeah, I needle felt. My daughter needle felts. Oh, 
Yes. Oh, yay. So, yeah, I have some of these. And then I've got some of the coloured rylans at home. So I use mm -hmm. all the different colours to, to do what, some needle felting. We've got to do, to do your needle felting. What do you make with uh, needle felting? I do um, portraits. Oh, portraits, OK. Portraits and yes. cushions and stuff. Yes. Um, and little models or anything. OK, we just do little like little little dolls yeah. and, and things like that. Yeah. Oh, she made that? Yeah. Oh, that is really beautiful. Mine is not that good. <laughs> um, it's one of those things you don't know you can do. Mm -hmm. With the lights on, different oh. colours. Oh, see the little... Yeah, well, that was it. I was like, oh, wow, that like, almost looks real, these like it's a real animal. Yeah. That is beautiful. Hang on, let's see. And these are the portraits she does. And it died as well. Yes. Very degrees of success. Where are you from? <laughs> 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 Can we do it? Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. Oh, no, it's a, <laughs> it's a minty treat. Maybe then. That is nice. Really? That, that is really nice. for that. Yeah. I was going to say, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think Lillian would be going to slow on the uptake here. <laughs> 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 Look at the eyes. Look at the eyes. Oh. I didn't realise they were awake. <laughs> You have to get scared. Don't, don't get scared. Don't get scared. Hold your hand up. Stop <laughs> playing. I'll never say no. Can I get one? So there are some really beautiful sheep breeds out here, and most of these I've never even heard of before. I think they're local British sheep breeds, and they just haven't made it across the pond over to the U.S., but these are some really beautiful sheep. But, um, yeah. Yeah. But, um, yeah. So... You just, you keep them because you like to breathe then? We do, but they are semi-commercial, but they, they're never quite as um, meaty. Yeah, but they're very unique looking sheep. They're really, yeah, they're really beautiful. It's friendly. Um, some of them are a bit fractious. Some of them are... <laughs> Yeah, we had, we did have one, um, you, get, you get a two-horn variety and a four-horn variety. And the four-horn have two horns that come straight up like that, and then little curly horns at the side. Really? And, and we had a, a four-horn lamb, we bought him, and uh, we had to sell him after about a year, because he was, he wasn't nasty, but I couldn't let you put your hands inside the hurdles. Yeah. With him, because his, his two horns that were sticking up, he would just go like that with his head and bang down, yeah, bang yeah. down. If your hands were there, oh, he would crush your hands, yeah, it was terrible. Yeah, but he also, he also, he'd get out of these things because he'd put his head down, his two horns would be like that under the bars and lift it up and lift it up. Oh, okay. yeah. yeah, never seen a four horn. No, well, well there's none here, yeah, but, but they're not, they're not as popular, but there are some about. Uh, yeah, there's some about. <laughs> yeah. These are really beautiful sheep. Oh. Hey, little girls. Hey, little girls. How are you little ladies doing? How are you little ladies? Y'all are doing good. You're beautiful. You're really pretty. Oh. They're wool. Super soft. It's super soft. So, some really beautiful sheep breeds. Sheep breeds I've really never seen before. Just a lot of great sheep. This show is nice. And now we're trying to make it to the cattle. The day is wrapping up. But we're trying to get to see some of the cows before they're all loaded up and head home. Right here behind me is my favorite, one of my favorite cattle breeds, which is the Belted Galway. They're beautiful. Right next to them are some Highlands from Scotland. So just like the, with the sheep, beautiful cattle breeds out here. Everything on display. I love the agriculture. This is something that we really enjoy doing. You know, we do farm videos. We love talking about things like that. And we love being able to get out to agriculture shows and county shows. And if you know some other ones, drop it in the comments. Let us know. We'll try to make those as well. Yeah, the Belted Galloway. Yeah, yeah. How old are um, how old are they? Uh, this one's uh, 14 months. He's 16 months, and she's three. And the calf is two weeks. The little calf at the end there. The calf is two weeks. Two weeks old. I am 
mesmerized. A little. Is there a difference? This says spring honey. Does that taste better? or? They all taste different. Okay. It depends on where the bees forage. We have some space, but I've always been concerned about producing too much honey. Like, what would I do with all of it? Sell it. <laughs> sell it. <laughs> well, it just asked me to come out and take a look. Yeah. I'm tempted. Yeah. Well, once you tempt it, you're hooked. You don't take long to go from tempting to hooked. Okay, so we've been out here several hours just enjoying ourselves, having a wonderful time, talking to a lot of people about their arts and their crafts and things that they know and they love. But it's time to get some ice cream. So that's really good. Nice ice cream to help cool yourself off. I mean, it is a nice toasty day out here. The weather's great. I mean, you can see the sunshine, but you know, walking around out here has been a great experience, but it is a little warm. Ice cream kind of brings you back to the center. So we're finishing up our day at the Derbyshire County Show. This has been a wonderful experience. It's been a wonderful day. I tell you, I love these agricultural shows. We love nature and farming, and this is what this show has been all about. Everything from car shows to sheep and cattle <laughs> and dog shows, horses, ponies, I'm telling you, it has been a wonderful day. It's always been wrapped up in this show. It's a great one. If you know of another one, drop it down in the comments. We'll try to make it to that one as well. Okay, guys, until the next time, do take care.